never before Has someone been more Unforgettable In every way And forevermore And forevermore That's how you stay That's how you stay That's why, darling It's incredible That someone so unforgettable I wish I could call you up when I mess up one of Grandma's recipes. I wish we could catch up. On life and such And hear you laughing at me But today I found a picture And saw that smile upon your face I knew everything would be okay When I need you, you'll be right outside my window I feel your arms around me I still think you left too soon But I'm thankful for your time Heaven's lucky to have you So was I So was I And I hope I make you proud While you're up there looking down on me From the best seat in the house
And forevermore. And forevermore. That's how you stay. That's how you stay. That's why, darling, it's incredible. That someone so unforgettable thinks that I am unforgettable too. How much you got? that concludes our slideshow thanks for watching now i'm going to start off with the personal stories one of the best days we had recently was at kaniohe sandbar grandpa was 88 years old and was down to ride a fast boat and drink at the sandbar with all of us most grandparents would turn down that offer but he was always ready for our next adventure being the stubborn guy he was, he refused to wear sunscreen no matter how many times everyone insisted he put some on. We offered to do it for him. We told him to wear hat, wear glasses. He said no. He left that day burnt like a lobster. This is the first time you're at the sandbox? Later that night, without the family knowing, he apparently couldn't see through his eyes and he thought he was going blind. He walked himself 10 minutes to Kuokini emergency room and it turned out he had sunburn in his eyes. We never heard of that before. He didn't listen to us, didn't even call us to tell us what was going on and that should tell you how much of a stubborn guy he was. Okay, so rewind to the COVID pandemic. We tried our best to stay away from grandpa just to keep him safe away from our germs. But that didn't last very long. I think it lasted us maybe one to two months. And um, we realized the family gatherings weren't the same. We, we need him to come over and he totally did. Okay, since I'm in charge of the slideshow, I decided to add my personal story on here with some pictures growing up i only had one grandparent but he made me feel like i had all of them he was always present for every occasion he picked me up from school regularly and i spent many summers bored out of his house with no cable and no internet little did i know those days of boredom would turn him into one of my favorite people Growing up, I had no choice, but then I went through my 20s happily picking him up and calling him to go out. Many lunch dates, fun activities with the kids, and we even went to a Christmas bar. As the years went by, he would start calling me specifically just to see my kids. He would come over a few times a month. It didn't matter if he was catching the bus or the handy van. He would come over, spend hours with them outside all day playing, and then he would go straight back home. He would always bring them snacks and they waited for these days with him. He loved them and they absolutely loved him too.